director rakesh sashi is able to maintain a fine balance between the points he is trying to make in the movie the film might not be path breaking but it still has enough for you to sit through it and going by the last few releases that is saying a lot Hello and welcome to Film Companion South. You're watching not at all a review. My name is Rudra Ranjan. This week's movie is Urvashivo Rakshasivo. The film stars Allu Sirish and Anu Emanuel in lead roles. The film is directed by Rakesh Sashi. Sri is a traditional young man raised in a middle class family. He's not flamboyant or heroic, and he shies away from doing anything that might hurt his parents. Sindhu, meanwhile, is a girl from an upper class household who wants to become a chef in Paris. It's an aim that she's been nurturing for years. and she's been raised by her dad who prioritizes her individuality over everything else shri gets his life advice from his uncle a tailor whereas sindhu was born overseas clearly they belong to different cultures and different ideologies when sparks fly between the leads they have to decide the course of their futures do they choose ambition over tradition or parents over partners now on paper the film might sound like every other rom-com you have watched recently and you wouldn't be very far off the mark the film's first half is rather bland and in spite of coming from a reputed production house you don't get to see any real magic in the film songs are fitted into the screenplay in the first half just to make the film fit in despite the presence of vanilla kishore and sonal in the film the director isn't able to extract enough laughs from the duo there are no jokes like this review it is only in the second half that you realize that the director's main aim is to portray a conflict of decisions It is in the second half that the film really kicks into gear, and this is where director Rakesh Sashi shines. Now, I haven't watched the Tamil original, so I don't know how much has been modified in the Telugu version. But the director makes a few bold strokes of writing. For example, in a conflict between mother, son, and girlfriend, the director never villainizes any of them. They have their own reasons, and the director makes their points convincingly. It's a rare humanizing of film characters in recent times. This is also the part of the film where Anu Emanuel's character seems more of a living, breathing character and not a manic pixie dream girl, which she did seem in the first half. In fact, Anu Emanuel is the best part of the movie. She is immensely watchable and amps up her performance in the dramatic portions of the movie. It helps that the director's lens doesn't judge Sindhu for. the decisions that she makes allu sirish back on the screen after a long time seems to have vastly improved except in the comedy scenes where he's given the unfortunate task of matching up to sunil and vanil kishore there he seems like he's making tiktok videos however he is efficient in the dramatic moments of the film director rakesh sashi is able to maintain a fine balance between the points he's trying to make in the movie the film might not be path breaking but it still has enough for you to sit through it and going by the last few releases that is saying a lot so would i recommend the film to a companion like the no ball in the recent india pakistan match it's a bit of a 50 50 decision if you have time money and patience to spare you can go watch the movie the film is stuck in the usual tropes in some ways but in other ways it's fresh and with that vague response i shall take your leave Thank you so much for watching our review of the movie Urvashivo Rakshasivo. In case you are looking for something interesting to watch, I would highly recommend watching Ammo on Prime Video. It's got superb performances by Navin Chandra and Aishwarya Lakshmi. We'll be back next week with the review of the film Yashoda. For more videos, reviews and interviews, please subscribe to Film Companion South on YouTube. Thank you.